now introduce a temporal difference learning. Let's first go over the Monte Carlo learning. Monte Carlo learning is based on the episodic sampling. That means from the current state roll out until to the terminal stage. And then now we calculate the uh, calculate return at each state. And then now we use the backward path to calculate the average return at the current state. And the dynamic programming is a, uh, is a method uh, in not to directly solve the complicated problem. Is that by stimulating the complete problem to a sequence of a simple problem. By solving the simple problems to get the solution for the original complicated problem. Here, for example, if we know the state transition probability, so we can start from an arbitrary policy and then we calculate the return. We calculate the expected, expected uh, state value function. And then now we use this uh, uh, state value function to improve the policy. And the improve policy and use the new policy, improve the policy to calculate, to estimate the state value function. Again and again, and then now finally we got the optimal policy and the optimal state value function. So use this uh, uh, iterative method. This means includes the policy evaluation and the policy improvement. Step by step, we got the optimal policy and the optimal state value function for the, for the original problem. Now the temporal difference learning is a combination of among the color and the uh, dynamic program. The difference is uh, TD uh, is a temporal difference only looks uh, ahead the one step. That means not uh, all the, uh, the episode, just the one step. And from the one step, we are get the uh, return and then uh, we just uh, step by step uh, get the final result along a trajectory. Uh, that's the, the idea of the temporal difference. So we update the state value function step by step. Since, uh, uh, since we care the episodic return, so the episodic Episodic return uh, will be obtained through a iterative procedure. So the, here is the uh, TD zero procedure for the prediction. That means uh, uh, we start from uh, uh, state S. And then uh, we take an action, we select the action, for example, action A as the uh, current state and I take action A and the policy pi. We observe a real world R and then the agent moves from his current state to the next state as a prime. So we use this future discount rate together we get this value. We use this value to update the state value function at his current state. And then now we move to next, you know, this as a current state, this next state, and so on until we reach the terminal state. So finally, we get the return along this trajectory for the selected action A and the policy pi. For the uh, control problem, we can uh, use this uh, uh, we can use this uh, state value function distribution to find the policy. 
and then of course you can use the, the policy to update to uh, to estimate the state valuation again. Finally, we get the optimal policy and the optimal city the value function. Here, the uh, this uh, the data data is you know this is the uh, this part we call uh, this moving target, and this part is this uh, is a current state the value function at the current state. However, TD because you know this uh, for example for uh, for the for a selected action A here we have uh, uh, maybe many uh, different next uh, states and we can you know follow the uh, one uh, we can follow one uh, uh, state value a uh, state transition probability which can return you know maximum state value function. However, we need this for the exploitation. Also, we need exploration to see, uh, you know, from other next state as a prime if we can get more return or not. So the TD method need to balance the exploration and the exploitation. For more details, please check with this reference. Thank you, Mike.